you have been processing your camera raw files wrong. Yes, I said it. You've been doing it wrong. It's time to face the music. Let me explain. Oh boy. You see, when I first started photography, I was introduced to Adobe Photoshop and Lightroom. They were the go-to post-production tools for photographers from all over the world. I was told that if I wanted to produce stunning images, I had to use these particular software programs. So I became indoctrinated. I spent countless hours learning how to use these particular tools, fine-tuning my editing skills and tweaking every little details in the images. I was convinced that this was the only way to make photos look good. Man. But as time went on, I started to get sick and tired of the whole work process. It was taking me hours and hours to edit a single photo. Even then, I wasn't even always happy with the result. I felt like I was constantly fighting against the limitations of the software. I could not understand why my photos did not look good as they did on the camera screen. It was then that I had an epiphany. I started experimenting with other post-processing softwares. I tried Yuli. Lead. I tried Canon Digital Photo Professional, also called a Canon DPP. I have to admit I was very skeptical at first, but I was blown away by the results. You know that feeling when you take a photo and it looks very amazing on your camera screen, but when you transfer it onto the computer, it looks dull, lifeless, and nothing like what you saw on your camera? Well, you are not alone. This is a common problem, and the reason is simple. You're not processing your camera raw files correctly. Let me even pass a drink before I explain this. You see, here's the thing. When you look at your photos on your camera screen, you are not looking at a raw file. You are looking at a JPEG file that has been processed by your camera's software. So the camera adds sharpness, it adds contrast, it adds saturation and other adjustment to make the photo look good. But when you transfer the raw file onto the computer, you're looking at something that is unprocessed. But like a blank canvas, you need to work around to make this particular picture look good. And this is where things get tricky. Processing raw files can be time consuming and it can be very frustrating, especially if you don't know what you are doing. I'm not dismissing Adobe Camera Raw. Adobe Camera Raw is a very powerful tool, but it can take a long time to get your photos looking good. Here's the controversial part. Camera manufacturers like Canon have their own software, such as Canon DPP, which can process raw files better than Adobe Camera Raw. Why? Because Canon software is specially designed for Canon cameras and it is updated regularly to match the latest features of their cameras. Why? Because Canon software is especially designed for Canon cameras and it's updated regularly to match the latest features of their cameras. For example, if you have a camera with a new picture style that aren't available in Adobe Camera Raw, you can process Euro files in Canon DPP to get the exact look you want. And here's the kicker. When you process your raw files in Canon DPP, the photo looks perfect as it appeared on the camera screen before even processing. So you don't even have to start on a plain canvas. Basically, you're only doing light adjustments. So if your exposure was right in camera, you just have to export the photo and it's ready to print without even any further processing. Let me get onto computer. I give you a comparison of these two softwares and we see how both of them work. Before we dive into this video, please take a minute, subscribe to this channel, give this video a thumbs up and of course, leave comments below of what exactly has resonated with you. And if you're a beginner photographer or even an advanced photographer and you want to take your retouching to the next level and you want to master retouching, create those high-end fashion magazine quality images, click the first link in the description below and join the Retouching Secrets Masterclass today. Let's get into the tutorial. So this is how the image looks like 
own camera screen okay when you see the colors are very vibrant it's a bit overexposed around these particular areas especially in the highlights and i need maybe to enhance bring back more details in the shadow zones but when you look at it it is it just needs a few adjustments so let me put it in in a adobe camera so when it gets in adobe camera row look at what happens see how it loses saturation it becomes pale now it even becomes worse especially to pictures that have natural light well i am not here to prove to you that canon dpp or your native camera software is better than adobe camera raw no that is not my intention and i know this might even be controversial and some of you may even disagree but i'm here to show you a comparison tutorial to prove my point so that you can see the difference for yourself so here's a raw file portrait for that I took. As you can see, the photo looks flat and dull. So I will start adjusting the exposures, contrast, shadows, and I will adjust the white balance and get rid of any color cast that I may have. I may add some clarity, vibrancy in the photo and a bit more. I will Then I will sharpen the photo and reduce the noise. After spending about 10 minutes, I have managed to get this look pretty this good. Can camera do exactly what Canon DPP does? Yes, it can do everything. But the problem is you have to touch each and every button from the calibration, from removing chromatic aberration and all that stuff, which is not actually the same case with Canon DPP. I have managed to get it look to look pretty good, but it still doesn't look as amazing as what I saw on my camera screen. Let us try with Canon DPP. Firstly, I'll import the raw file into the software. So the photo looks much better straight out of camera without even any adjustment. This is because Canon DPP PP is specifically designed to work with Canon camera and their raw files. I'll make I'll make a few adjustments such as increasing the contrast, vibrancy, reducing noise and a bit but overall the photo doesn't need that much of work as it did in Adobe Camera Raw. So this is how the image looked like when I had just dropped it in Adobe Camera Raw and this is how it looked like when I had just dropped it in Canon DPP. Now with Canon DPP you only have to drop your raw file inside the software then you adjust the lighting and the like the rest things to do with the chromatic aberration color correction all that stuff is automatically done for you in canon dpp if you had your white balance and everything set right on camera you don't have to start on a blank canvas camera raw is not the best software for processing camera raw files the software attached to your camera brand like canon dpp for example is much better and if you're using a canon camera you should be using canon dpp to process your raw files if you're using a nikon camera use capture nx for sony i'm not sure whether you guys have a software but if you're a sony user come on in the comments below tell me what you guys use so that i can add it on my next video that i do i hope this tutorial has been eye-opening for you i know it can be hard to break old habits and try out something new I truly believe that using software designed for your specific camera brand can make a big difference in the quality of your photos. Of course, this doesn't mean you have to switch to Canon DPP if you're not using a Canon camera. No, but I recommend you explore different software options and see the one that works for you and your camera. So there you have it. Don't be afraid to experiment and try new things. Who knows? You might just find that using a different software can take your photography to the next granular level. Thanks for watching and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. In the comments below, tell me what exactly has resonated with you. Has this tutorial been an eye opener to you? Well, I can't wait to see you at the top and adios. The truth is, Camera Raw is not the best software for processing Camera Raw files. The software attached to your camera brand life is much better if it's much better. And you're because baby kidam kokaton kidam kot If you are if you baby kidam kokaton.